Hello, hello, family. Don't forget to subscribe. So, I've been asked to do an update on our whole debacle fiasco that we've had with Royal Caribbean and the issue that we had with the cruise. So I'm going to say, long story short, for those of you who do not know, we went to go on a cruise. It was on our honeymoon. We went to go uh, through Royal Caribbean. We were missing some documents. We ended up getting the documents. We gave the documents to Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean still wouldn't let us get on the cruise. Didn't like the documents, even though they were valid documents. The cruise ended up leaving. Bye bye. Then Royal Caribbean refused to give us, give us back our money. Long story short, I'll put a link in the description below so you can see the original video. And so here's the update. So I contacted my credit card and I disputed the charges to the credit card. I felt that, that was one of my only choices. Explain the situation to my credit card. The credit card agreed. They thought that, uh, that that was wrong. And so they put in a dispute for, for the charges, gave me a temporary credit. Royal came back with all these reasons why they did this and that and why they were refusing to give me the credit went back and forth between my credit card company and royal credit card company continued to fight on my behalf unfortunately royal fought so hard and so long that finally the credit card company is like look they're just fighting it and fighting it and fighting it and there's nothing more we can do we we're gonna have to reverse the credit that they gave me and so I ended up losing the money that way so that Avenue got exhausted I then decided to make a complaint to the Better Business Bureau did my complaint with the Better Business Bureau in this instance when Royal Caribbean answered they actually said some things that weren't quite true That is one big pile of shit. They made it look like we're the ones that canceled the tickets, had no responsibility for what happened. They acted as if we just decided not to go. We didn't cancel the tickets. The ship left. What am I going to do, swim out to the ship? Get it up! We didn't cancel any tickets. So, that went back and forth with the Better Business Bureau and with Royal. I finally, the Better Business Bureau put their hands up and said, look, you know, this is, you know, they're just, again, they're just fighting and fighting and fighting. Uh, we're just going to mark this as uh, unresolved. So unresolved does basically nothing for us. So, Aww. thank you, thank you. At least someone cares. So I actually ended up contacting or writing an email to the president of, uh, of Royal Caribbean. Uh, they didn't answer me. Denied? You're denying my claim? <laughs> so at this point, I'm still at the same place I was when this whole thing started, that uh, we're out the money, uh, we're out the experience, uh, we're out the honeymoon, and Royal... Um, in their infinite wisdom decides that they're not going to do a thing about it. They don't care. Uh, no way! you got to be kidding! I have spoken to some people. I've spoken to quite a few different people. Um, there's been other people that have these same experiences. I've had a lot of people that's had this with Royal. Uh, I spoke to one young lady who um, had a situation with Royal and lost even more money than I did. Bastards. Um, and again, they refused to do anything to help them. I, I do know that it is an issue with a lot of different cruise lines. However, I think the biggest difference is how that particular cruise line handles those one-offs. No situation is exactly the same. Obviously, there's different circumstances with, it, with every different situation. I think with Royal, the issue that we had is that they were unwilling to look at this and see it for what it was is that there's no cut and dry in this situation. Let me clarify something too. We did find out before we went on this cruise what was needed 
and there was nothing that was spoken that we needed to have her DS-2019 form. Uh, we were told that we need her passport and a valid visa, which is exactly what we had. Uh, we had my passport, she had her passport, and she had a valid visa. So we did question that. Excuse me. It's not like we, we went in and not and, oh, we didn't have anything with us. That wasn't the case. And again, remember, as I said in my original video, we did end up providing them the travel authorization that they wanted from her sponsor. We did get that to them. That was emailed directly to them uh, from the sponsor. The sponsor spoke to them on the phone, uh, gave them that information on the phone. So we ended up getting the information that they, that they were wanting. It was their choice to not let us on the cruise even though that information was, was provided. So it's not this cut and dry, she didn't have a visa, or, or she didn't have her passport, or something of that nature, or, or they just didn't provide the information, that's why you can't, uh, you can't let it go. So that's where there's some contention uh, in their policy, where I think that there should be some leeway. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. And again, I was perfectly fine with a credit for a future cruise. No one loses, right? Royal doesn't lose a thing. They don't lose any money. We don't lose out on, on I mean, it wouldn't be our honeymoon anymore, but at least we'd get to have the experience of, of, of the cruise that we wanted. It's gonna be a late honeymoon type of situation. And, and we would be fine with that. We would be perfectly fine with, with that uh, outcome. But Royal, is just digging their feet into the sand. I will not hear it, not from you. I will not hear it! And they are refusing to budge one inch. I've worked in the customer service industry for 19 years. I was in retail. Um, even in retail, you've got, you've got return policies, right? Or you need to have a receipt. Or, you know, there's different, you know, sale, the sale ended, the coupons expired. All types of policies that are there that are cut and dry. You brought in a coupon, that coupon's expired. But how many times, in the name of customer service, has a company made concessions? Okay, we can't give you back your cash, but we'll give you an in-store credit. I know the, the coupon expired, but we'll let the coupon go through. All in the name of good customer service and creating loyal consumers. Royal Caribbean, the cruise line, is almost 100% a service. It's a customer service. There is no tangible item that, that someone's purchasing and takes back to their home. This is a, an experience. This is a customer service thing. And they're not losing anything by allowing it to have this in-store credit or, or, or concession or something that they could do to, to alleviate the situation. Even if they didn't want to give back the money, they are refusing to do the right thing. Here we are, we're still in the same situation. I even at one point decided to try to look into a legal matter. It's all good, man. I reached out to some attorneys to see if there's anything I can do legally. Unfortunately, in these situations, the cost of doing any type of a lawsuit or the cost of that would outweigh whatever that, that I would have gained by getting my money back. That unfortunately is going to be a situation where I simply uh, I can't do a legal uh, aspect of it because it's just going to be too expensive and it's going to cost more than I would ever get. So I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck in this in this situation. We're stuck. Uh, we're out the money. We're out the experience. We're out our honeymoon and Royal reaped all the benefits. Royal got free money. You um, they didn't have to. They didn't have to spend anything on our food. Whatever we were gonna, you know, they they, they just got a gift, uh, a gift of this money that was never used. Again, Royal, if you want to make good on this, uh, you know, you can always reach out to me. One ringy dingy, two ringy dingies. If anybody has a contact in Royal. Uh, they know uh, an email or phone number of someone uh, in their corporate office who might be able to do some or help out 
uh, be more than glad to uh, to contact them and talk with them. Uh, I've always been willing to talk with them. They just don't want to budge. So if you know of anybody, if you work for Royal, uh, reach out to me. We will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. Uh, if you've had similar situations like this, if you or, or you know somebody, uh, by all means, leave us a comment and uh, and tell us what your story is. Tell us what happened to you. Let this be known. Let people know. Uh, this is a, a racket. And I think it's a racket. To be honest with you, I think it's a racket for the travel insurance. I think it's something that they're doing to try to force people to purchase this travel insurance, which in some cases I think it's a crock. Um, I think that uh, that this is something that they're they're using to make uh, more money, in my opinion. But again, all of this is my opinion. Anyways, there's our update. I wanted to give you the the, the updated information. Um, I hope you enjoy our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Uh, we're always posting videos. Uh, we're posting shorts, uh, videos of things that we're doing uh, as a family. A lot of our shorts are centered around our Huskies, so you'll see a lot of our Huskies. Uh, but uh, subscribe, hit that notification button, uh, and give us a like and a comment. So again, thanks. And uh, there's our update. If anything new, if I get any new developments, I will post another video and let you know. Thanks for watching.